67 IH Pharma here. I'm just playing with some scarf joints. This is the second one I tried. The first one, I really, I really messed up. That's the saw blades fault. I tried to get going at a normal angle, messed it up. I was using a really old blade. Now this is what I got for the second try. I just did a zigzag straight across and come down here, put wedges in it, put the wedges separated this way, pushing it this out. I want to spread it this way and that way. I go Google what a scarf join is. And the the wedges go in here and they're supposed to split it this way. Which pushes directly into this pocket here and here. Or if you push it this way. And if you don't want it to push that way, you got to have your wedges push this way. If you have them push this way, they'll just pop out just like what happened here. But this is the only way you can have the wedges. If you have the wedges go this way, it just pushes it out immediately. Because it's one straight line. Well, this one's a zigzag. What have you. So this is going to be like the first block of wood's going to come down like this. And then the other one's going to come over like this. So this is like basically an empty space. You get this down here and this down here. Then you put wedges in the hole there. So I don't know how I'm going to make this template. I'm going to make use this as a template, but I don't know how I'm going to cut this. There's the reciprocating saw. I can cut I can cut a hole through it, basically. But it really tears it up and makes it smoke and stuff. It bounces all over the place. It takes 5-10 minutes just to start the hole. Then you, then you can cut it with the reciprocating saw. So I can have to do that twice. There's 20 minutes right there. And I don't want to drill a hole or anything... That would ruin it. We'll see. And I'll use this as a template. It'd definitely be easier than the second. Because at the end of the board, you just draw your line or whatever and trace one half of it. And trace that half and cut down this way. If you can't if you want, you can cut this way. Then you can cut this way. Then you can cut this way. You can go on this way or something. Get that block out of there and cut this way, that way. To get that out of there and cut here. And then that chunk will come off. It was, that's just scrap right there. And then on the other board, do this side. You cut this all out and keep that side. So I should probably label these number one and number two. And then I'll just have to get rid of this. What's holding this together mainly is I got a screw in there. I thought a screw would help hold, pinch this together, but it doesn't. That's the only thing that's actually holding this together, really. The wedges do mutually support the screw, but without the screw, the wedges would do nothing. Just split it apart and make it a mess.